Good morning, everyone. This is Deaconess Elizabeth, and it is Friday, December the 17th. And I'm here for your daily devotions today. Today we are in the book of Revelation, chapter 5. And so we'll start at the first verse. So if you'd like to follow along, you may turn there now. Then I saw in the right hand of him who was seated on the throne a scroll written within and on the back, sealed with seven seals. And I saw a mighty angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? And no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look into it. And I began to weep loudly, because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to look into it. And one of the elders said to me, Weep no more. Behold, the lion of the tribe of, tribe of Judah, the root of David, has conquered, so that he can open the scroll and its seven seals. And between the throne and the four living creatures and among the elders I saw a lamb standing as though it had been slain, with seven horns and with seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. And he went and took the scroll from the right hand of him who was seated on the throne. And when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb, each holding a harp and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song, saying, Worthy are you to take the scroll and to open its seals, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed people for God, from every tribe and language and people and nation. And you have made them a kingdom and priests to our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Then I looked and I heard around the throne and the living creatures and the elders, the voice of many angels, numbering myriads of myriads and thousands of thousands, saying with, a, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing. And I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all that is in them saying, to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. And the four living creatures said, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshipped. Okay, so um, a bit of a, a lengthy chapter here, um, but it's talking about here that the title of this chapter right away is The Scroll and the Lamb. And uh, no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to open or, in, or to read it, um, and uh, it says that John, John says that he began to weep until he was told, look, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, and as we know, uh, Jesus is referred to um, as being from the tribe of Judah and being the root of David. And then in verse 6, he's described as a lamb who uh, looks as though it had been slain. And we know that Jesus is our sacrificial lamb who went to the cross to take, the sin, take our sins away and to, to be that all-atoning sacrifice for us. Um, something that was, is, was very interesting is um, in verse 8 where they were talking about the golden bowls full of incense, which John described as the prayers of the saints. This is not the first time in scriptures where uh, prayers and incense have been grouped together. Um, and actually, um, in Psalm 141, verse 2, it says, Let my prayer set before you like incense. May the lifting up of my hands be like the evening sacrifice. Now, this may sound a little familiar to some of you, especially if you are familiar with the service of evening prayer, which we have been doing during our, uh, our midweek Advent services. And it, that's... Um, we sing that verse during the psalmody in that service. So um, if that sounds familiar, that's why. Um, and then, um, so here we, we have um, the four living creatures and the elders and all the angels uh, praising the Lamb. And it's not until chapter 6 where the, uh, the seals start to be uh, opened and broken. And so stick with us and uh, you'll get to hear um, those daily devotions for those chapters in the following days. So, our hymn today is going to be hymn 547, The Lamb. It's in uh, our Lutheran service book. So, um, if you'd like to sing along, we are going to sing the, ver the first verse. <clears throat> the Lamb, the Lamb, O Father, where's the sacrifice? Faith sees, believes, that will provide the Lamb of Christ. Worthy is the Lamb, whose death makes me his own. The Lamb. 
Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me for today's daily devotions. Um, a few announcements for this upcoming week with our Christmas festivities and everything. So tomorrow being Saturday, we do have our church Christmas party. Um, I believe that is at 6 or 6.30. Um, the, the time is in our church newsletter, um, and that can be found in your email. That will be held at the Pagel House. So uh, we hope to see you all there. Please bring a white elephant gift valued 10 to $15 along. Um, and it should be a fun time. So I hope to see many of you there for that. And then this Sunday um, is our Sunday School Christmas program. So we have one more practice in the morning, and then we ask that all the Sunday School children get here by 5 o'clock um, in the evening on Sunday to go over a few last-minute things. We also will have pizza for the kids here as well. And then the program is at 6 o'clock, and all are invited to watch that, and I do encourage you all to come for that um, as well. Um, there's no women's Bible study this week as we're taking a break for the rest of December with all the, the holiday festivities. Um, and our youth Christmas party will be this coming Monday at uh, 5.30 p.m., and that will be at the Humphrey household. So, again, information... Um, and more specifics are found in our church e-newsletter. And if you have any questions, always you're welcome to always reach out to me. So I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your Friday.